I just want to do a quick recap and mark out over tonight's pay-per-view. There were some great, great highlights. Not only I called all but one match what was going to happen, but it was a pretty good pay-per-view considering CM Punk wasn't on it. Uh, let me go over here and look because I, I have trouble remembering which match took place uh, which. Uh, Antonio Cesaro versus Archery. <laughs> that was a given. That was like Antonio Cesaro would just... Yeah, he was going to go over our truth in a heartbeat. That match was, eh, but it was still, you know, I like CSSR perform. He's a good guy. Uh, the, the Miz TV, the, the the whole good guy Miz thing is, it's so corny. He's just so, <laughs> really, really, so dumb. I, I don't like face, I don't like a face Miz. I like a heel Miz. And I do believe Alberto Del Rio turned face tonight. We'll find out tomorrow night on Raw if he's if he's a baby face now. But a face off Dirt Del Rio just kind of I don't know. I mean, because it's like right now the heels are really getting over with people. If you notice, we're, we're getting back to the Attitude Era very slowly but surely. We'll have our TV 14 back for sure. Um, the number one contenders for the. Um, Oh, yeah, that was the first match. It was the number one contender for the tag team match. I knew Rogue Scott, Rogue Scholars was going to take that because, uh, I mean, Kane and Brian haven't really brought legitimacy to the tag team titles, but they have, they're not getting passed around like a joint. So not everybody's getting the, getting the toe. So now these guys are, 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 these guys are over. Well, I know that, um, um, Damien is over with the crowd. Cody's mustache is obviously over. Um, the Intercontinental Championship, I thought Wade Barrett was going to take it. I was kind of foolish in calling that. I kind of just called that because I'm not a Kofi Kingston fan. It's, it's kind of a more of the same shit, the same old shit. It's like John Cena. It's the same old shit. It's the same old shit. He never does anything spectacular. He, he jumps. He does. And, he's, and, it, and it seems like his heat in the crowd, like he's not really getting over in the crowd. Like not his heat, but he's just not... He's not as over as he used to be. He's got an exciting interest. He does some high spots, whatever, at the end. Um, the, oh, the Shield versus Team Hell No and Ryback, that was, forgive me, I'm going to mark out because that was, I, I don't even know who, I, I've never followed Ambrose, Rollins, or uh, Reigns, but I know Dean Ambrose is one of my favorite wrestlers now. Seth Rollins is definitely in the top five, um, not because of their performance, but there's something there. I, I see somebody I could see. Roman Reigns, he's just kind of like, Roman Reigns. Anyway, that was the most violent thing I've seen in a while in the WWE. These guys are just stiff. I mean, especially Ambrose, man. This guy's just bad. All these guys are going to be fucking sore tomorrow. So, you know, good thing it's the Slammies or whatever, because <laughs> these guys are going to be fucking sore. And no joke, uh, Ambrose and Rollins... The bump Rollins took off the ladder from Ryback was sick. His head, God, oh man, I was like, this poor kid, man. He just, I hope he's all right. He's probably concussed. I mean, but Ryback seems to be, with this whole Goldberg gimmick, I'm sorry, but, you know, Randy Orton is a Stone Cold Steve Austin rehash, as Ryback is a blatant Goldberg rehash, just without the long, 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 long winning streak. If Kevin Nash put it, you know, it. Um, it just seems like he's not a safe worker. It's just more like he's about these, these hard hitting spots, and that's all he can do. You know, they got to put him out. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a Ryback guy. I like, I wanted to see him and CM Punk wrestle again because I wanted to see CM Punk finally beat this guy and bury him and put him on a different path. But Punk's injury was cool because then now Ryback got to get his ass beat by these guys. But him throwing Rollins off the ladder like that just seemed like, I don't know, maybe I'm blaming Ryback and I shouldn't be, but I just don't think Ryback's a safe worker and I think he's going to injure a lot more people. He already injured the champ, so maybe he, it's too soon for him to be working in the main event. I mean, he's like, was this the third pay-per-view he's main evented? Oh, no, he didn't main event this one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This was... Dolph Ziggler's first main event in the pay-per-view? I'm not sure. But anyway, Ryback, unsafe worker. He's going to injure other people. Divas Championship match. I couldn't tell you much about it. Eve won. There you go. Uh, <laughs> the World Heavyweight Championship chairs match was another brutal match. Uh, Sheamus and Big Show always beat the crap out of each other. 
Big Show bringing out that big old freaking, uh, as big as him fucking uh, folding chair was great. I was like, ah, it's a huge chair. And I knew Big Show was going to go over because last year he lost the 45 seconds. They're not going to take the title off of him a year later after he did the job to Daniel Bryan and up and coming for 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. They're going to keep the title on show for a while because this is probably his last title run considering his age and his time in the business. And, you know, he's probably coming towards the end of his career. So one more title run for him and He'll be out of there. Um, the three MB versus the Miz of Brooklyn Brawler, and, and I didn't really pay much attention to this match. I was texting, I was tweeting, I was updating, I was on uh, the uh, interactive side of the app. <laughs> but you know, I said that Team Cheesy Miz or Miz Cheese or whatever. I don't know. This whole Miz thing is cheesy. They went over big deal. The match of the night that I was looking forward to was Dolph Ziggler and John Cena. I hate John Cena, and, it's, and, and, and this is great, and I, and I figured it out. The WWE's got me. I hate John Cena. Not the guy, the, the person, John Cena, in real life. He's a great guy. He does a lot of great things. The character John Cena in the WWE, I don't like. I have to make that distinction. I don't hate John Cena as a person. I hate John Cena as a character. Okay? And I know they're one and the same, but his character is not. You you. Smart to know what I'm saying, okay? Um, but they got me because I love to watch him get beat. <laughs> and when he wins, I totally can, like, you already know when he's going to win, but I called this one. I knew Ziggler was going to go over because they're trying to legitimize Ziggler because he's one of the next big things. Ziggler's going to be the star. Like they said, he, then he trained under Shawn Michaels, right? So he's going to be a huge star in the future. He's going to be big. So to put him over John Cena in a ladder match was going to legitimize him that much more. Because he's been doing the job for a lot of people. And he's been bumping. And he's been selling like crazy for everybody. So he needed to go over John Cena to legitimize him a little bit more. But I knew that something was going to happen because John Cena has not lost a match in months. That something didn't happen that... Oh, John Cena had the disadvantage. I mean, it's just that's getting old. John Cena needs to lay down, take the one, two, three, lay down, let somebody climb the ladder because you're not, dude. You're Hulk Hogan all over again. And you know, I think the last time I saw Hulk Hogan lay down was for what The Undertaker before he went to WCW. Well, anyway, that that was the highlight. Cause I was I was glad that Ziggler got to retain his title because. Or not his title, I'm sorry. His Money in the Bank contract. And I was also glad to see Ziggler go over Cena and be legitimized and given that rub a little bit more. And good for Cena for doing that for him. But he's actually helping the young talent out, and I'm glad to see that. He's not had the title in over a year, and that's probably due to injury. But it's also due to his, John Cena's been around for a while. He's, he's had the belt a lot, and now it's time for him and these other guys to start. There's not many older dudes around to help legitimize new talent. Everybody's retiring or injured. So, um, good for you, John Cena. Good for you, Dolph Ziggler, for winning. Tonight was another night for the heels in the pay-per-view. I love it when the heels come out and and dominate the pay-per-view. It's, uh, it's a good thing because I think that a lot of the crowds are growing up now and they're starting to see through the hokey, take, uh, take your vitamins, say your prayers-esque type PG entertainment. Linda McMahon, your campaign is over. You fucking lost. Let's go back to TV 14. We want to be entertained. So the next pay-per-view. Wow. I didn't press stop recording. Aaron, I'm pressing stop recording.